to Advancing Aiden, this is Becca. I am going to be working on another storyboard tutorial. We're gonna be using Glitter Heart Co. Diamonds. I've already base painted the inside of the stainless steel portion um, white. I'm gonna mix up some tacket and we're gonna apply it and get this glitter as flat as humanly possible because I wanna make sure I have a good glitter flow and I don't want a lot of space, or I don't want a lot of bulk um, taking up that really small real estate inside that snow globe. So I'm gonna put you in high speed. I'm gonna mix up some tacket with a little bit of water and we're gonna go ahead and get right down to it. All right, so I have tacket mixed with a one-to-one -one ratio of tacket. I'll show you that tacket over and over with water. And I'm just gonna use a makeup sponge and we're just gonna get as uh, a pretty thin-ish coat, but what I'm looking for is no lines. And it's just this over and over and over and you wait until it is clear to apply the glitter. So I'm gonna go ahead and put you in high speed for this. Alrighty guys, so we did hang method on the storyboard. You can see we've got some cleanup to do, which is what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna throw you in high speed for that. I'm gonna clean the bottom of this rim and we're gonna clean the bottom here. Um, you can see it kind of dripped down. We've got some like little epoxy nipples, which are gonna be super easy to clean. All I'm gonna do is use a kitchen torch and heat it up. Then I'm gonna use a sharp, whoops, a sharp exacto knife um, and we're going to just cut it nice and clean so I'm going to put you guys in high speed for that. All right guys, so I'm gonna add a little bit of epoxy on this lip. I'm just using a popsicle stick. Now I'm dripping it on the tablecloth, but that's why we have a tablecloth. And I'm gonna do the inside and the outside. Now some people are like, well, why are you doing the inside? Well, because I'm paranoid. <laughs> so we're gonna do both. sure I've got a good amount using my finger all the way around both edges now don't worry about it being up on the inside because I'm gonna just smooth that out and even then you won't really see it on the outside I'm gonna wipe it off we're gonna set it upside right I'm gonna use my popsicle stick I'm gonna scrape off most of it I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on Right inside. There we go. Now you can use a popsicle stick, you can use a silicone tool. I've also been known to use a syringe to get all the way down in there. Whatever you do, make sure it's just a good seal. is a bad seal in here. Okay. 
Daddy. That can't be good. All right. So now that I have this done, I'll just go stick back in here. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna put this cup on. Snap it in. And now the key is not to touch it. <laughs> Which I'm not very good at. Okay. Okay. Let's make sure it fits all the way around. Just checking to make sure it's an even seal all the way around. Okay. I'm gonna set this aside. Oh, one last thing before I do. I'm just going to put the tiniest amount of epoxy around the lid, or around the base of this right here, because I wanna make sure that I have a watertight seal after cleaning that. But at the same time, I want to make sure that I don't have anything stopping the glitter flow so and I can see I have a little bit touching right here so I go back in okay. I'm gonna run a knife blade right down along in here make sure but it looks like this is touching hand okay much better Okay, I'm gonna wipe the outside of this just so that I don't have any epoxy left. As you can see, we'll clean up this edge before we're done. Okay. Seated, and it's even all the way inside. Got that epoxy to make sure we have a watertight seal on the bottom. Okay, and off we go. All right guys, I'll show you the next step in a couple days. Okay guys, I did a water test on this one. I have sealed it with epoxy, which was the step you saw before this. You can see that the epoxy didn't leak through. There's no issues. Um, what I did for this one was I did a water test. I filled it with just straight water and I left it for 24 hours and it didn't leak. So we're good to go. So I'm going to set this aside for just a minute. I mix my storyboards with clear school glue. So people ask me how much I do. I have about half a cup of water and I probably do a good three tablespoons worth of glue. It's just an eyeball. I don't measure. I go by the flow of the glitter. I did grab a popsicle stick. I'm sorry, you asked me. I will show you guys here what I mean. I'm gonna stand, you can see here, this is how much glue to how much water. It's about one third water to about, uh, so it's like one part glue, probably three parts water. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more. Okay guys, I forgot to press film when I was actually mixing this together, but I put, I added a tiny bit more school glue um, and it's about a quarter of a cup of school glue to about half a cup of water. And the consistency that you're looking for when you're stirring this and you're kind of looking at it, try and think like when you mix eggs together to scramble eggs, how that fluid is a little bit thicker. Um, that's kind of what you're looking for. All right, I'm gonna pop you guys off the camera stand again so that you guys can watch me add a little bit of glitter to do a flow test. Tara's gonna hold the camera for me. All right, guys, I'm putting Chicago from All American Glitter. It's a chunky holographic. I'm putting Arctic from Pink Crafts Panda, which is a chunky, and I'm putting some puzzle pieces in. Right now, what I'm doing is just doing a flow test and I'm adding a little bit of glitter to the cup. And then I'm gonna mix it and see how it goes. Oh yeah, there you go. That looks really good. See how it just hangs suspended? I like my flow to be slow. Um, so I've added more. You can see it floating up and down. All right, you can go ahead and turn that. 
All right, guys, the moment of truth. I'm going to add my fluid into my storyboard. I just pour really slowly. Another consistency you could look for is like heated syrup when you're putting it on your pancakes. That's kind of what yeah, I go that's for. That's a good comparison. I try. Okay. I come up just to the edge of the lip on here when I'm filling it up. And now I'm gonna add my glitter. It looks like I have plenty of space, so I'm not gonna have too much in there. So here come my puzzle pieces. Add some blue. I don't want to add a lot of glitter. The puzzle pieces are the main are the main design here. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of the blue just to give some dimension, and then we're gonna add Chicago. Okay. Here we go. Okay. And now I'm just gonna slowly start knocking the glitter down. Might need to add some more water. Here we go. Now don't worry if your glitter doesn't start falling down right away. It will when you turn it the other way. It just takes some time. Okay. I'm gonna add just the tiniest dot of regular water, which is the last thing I always do. I always fill the rest of this up with just water to help the glitter flow. It's gonna be so cute. I'm pouring really slowly because it's gonna kill me if I... Okay. You can already see the glitter falling down. Now, Tara, can you hand me the silicone? Now this is filled almost to the tippy tippy top. I don't know where it's at. The silicone, I think it's down there with the fillet, the, the, it's somewhere in here. Now I'm just slowly knocking the glitter down. This is gonna be so cute. Guys, I'm really happy with this. This is the first storyboard I've made that I've been really like very, very happy with. Mainly because I have glitter flowing all the way around this which sometimes I have yes. issues. Yeah, that. Thank you, ma'am. Tara, my lovely assistant. I'm just stirring with my popsicle stick to start knocking it down. The regular water just kind of loosens it enough that it'll continue flowing down. The glue will slow the flow of it off the edge of your tumbler, but don't worry, it'll all eventually flow down, even if you choose not to use um, like just straight water when you do this. Okay, I use Silicone Maker, uh, I'm sorry, Silicone Max. It's 100% waterproof silicone and I'm just gonna fill this little circle. Except it's shot. Never mind, I forgot. This was the one that I did this to. <laughs> Got it? Yeah, we're good. Okay, so I'm just gonna fill this in. Oh, I think that other silicone is elsewhere because Nick used it. It's okay. I need the black lid. I'm really happy with this, actually. I'm so tempted to put more glitter in and I really, really shouldn't. I think it'll be good this way. The blood, it's in the storyboard. It's the storyboard base. Sorry, I wasn't clear. I get that, I just don't see the storyboard. Alrighty guys, I'm just gonna keep knocking this down. That looks great. It's gonna softer than it All right, to finish the lid off, I fill silicone in the little screw part. Can I have one more popsicle stick, Tara? Let me actually move this out of the way for just a second. There's two out spilling. Just in case you didn't. Thank you. 
I'm gonna fill this centerpiece with silicone and I use a popsicle stick to get all in the threads. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm using my popsicle stick and I'm going all the way around the outside of this guy, making sure that it seals. Now the one thing you do have to be careful with this is if you're not going to do something on the outside of your cup, you wanna make sure that when you are screwing this on, that you clean off the silicone from the outside because otherwise it'll create a film. Okay, we've got that screwed on. I'm going to grab some paper towels because I always make a mess at this part. I'll warn you in advance. Okay. Now, the moment of truth. And now you just make sure you thread this on really, really tight. Got it. Okay. And believe it or not, I didn't make a mess. Now, I'm gonna not touch this for a couple of minutes. I am then gonna do a thin layer of epoxy on the outside to seal it in, and I'll show you that in a second. All right, guys, I did a tilt test and there's still space for um, more water. So what I'm gonna do is add some more silicone to the lid. Just to make sure we get it right. And add, There's a there was a big bubble. Um, I'm gonna add more water. doing a quick swipe on the silicone. Now, don't worry about leaking on this because we're gonna add epoxy. So it'll seal up on the outside really well. Okay. I was like, it's not making a mess. It always makes a mess. Well, because I didn't have enough water in it. See, there it goes. all down the sides, there we go. Okay, see, I knew myself. It's like it's not making a big enough mess. Didn't have enough water in it. All right, so this is gonna be set to the side. When it's dried off, I will do a thin coat of epoxy on it, like I said earlier. But I'm just wiping the outside. I'm pushing the silicone back into that lip to make sure that it's really sealed on there good. All right, I'm gonna set this aside. All right guys, so I'm going to put a thin layer of epoxy just using my finger. I've mixed up Promarine. I have a really large amount because I'm gonna be doing other cups, but I just use my finger and do a thin layer all the way around the lip. I go up on the upside and I do all the way up to the top, like over the lip. Sounds like my children are having... It's because he didn't nap today. Yes, my son did not nap today. So if you hear screaming in the background, I apologize. Um, this is just gonna be a super thin layer. Like I just dip my finger in and then work it all the way around. Kind of like um, a hang method if you weren't gonna put it on a turner. Now this is going to get an entire coat of epoxy um, and a decal on the outside before this cup is done. So this one's just getting this thin coat of epoxy on the top, just to give it a nice good seal. I dried it off really well, made sure there wasn't anything on there, wiped it down. All right, so there you guys go. I'm not learning anything.
Okay, so now we're adding the decal. This one is very picky. You have to make sure that you get all your apostrophes down, so be careful when you're pulling the paper off. Okay. You might have Tara do this part. Hmm? Is it coming up? Um, yeah, thank you. One apostrophe, good. <laughs> I'm just being really careful. Yeah. There's the other one. And now I'm just making sure I don't go anywhere near where those other ones are. Okay. We're gonna have Nick lay the decal down. So I'm shaking really bad. Okay, here you go, baby. Oh, almost. Okay. okay. So I have the cup right here. All you have to do is put this decal down straight right about there. I have faith in you. You can do it. Make sure you don't lose the tiny apostrophes. Well, they're still stuck, so. Okay. Your Octo Dad, you have three arms. Sure. <laughs> three hands. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yep, right there. Lay it down. Okay. Now, if we need to, you can slit right through these longer pieces, which I recommend with the transfer tape, because it'll keep the longer pieces straight, and these ones won't wrinkle. So turn it towards you and slit right up there. <sighs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you holding your breath over there. <laughs> you don't have to go all the way, just like that, on both sides. And then turn the cup around and do it on the other side. My lovely husband is very patient with me. So aggressive. Sounds like my children are destroying their what you doing? chairs. Chicken fries. Chicken fries. Okay, you got it. I'll let you do it. I'll stop touching it. This is not a circuit board, honey. It doesn't have to be. It does have to be. Okay, you can do it. Because it's orange gold. It's okay. It'll. It's not okay. Okay, I'll let you do it. I believe in you. I just am not gonna look. This is what happens when you have two engineers put a decal down and he's never done it before. So my husband's being very helpful. I'm just hovering. Got it. You guys can't see me, but I'm hovering right outside the, the camera. You can use the scraper over there too if you don't want to use your finger. No matter. You got it. Okay. It's not done yet. Okay. Now the other side. Make sure you're not There you go. You're good. I got you. Okay. Too slow. No, you're fine. Too slow for you. <laughs> you're making fun of my little bouncing in the corner. I'm just excited to see what it's gonna look like. You lay down decals better than I do. I don't believe you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna be responsible for ruining this. 
What do you think of the cup? I like it. Who's this for? Uh, it's just a tutorial cup. I'll put it on the website for sale. Okay. We just have to... You're going to epoxy it in a minute. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> you know what epoxy is. I know. You can do it. I've it for a long time. I know. You can peel it off now. You Now you're just playing. No, I'm not. Well, it's not. So you start down there and peel it off. Use the squeegee here. I'll show you. Why? Because you have to go like this. Oh! Nope, that was just the. Okay. God damn it. Right. Watch your mouth. It's fine. They're used to me by now. Let's see. You, you say use the squeegee. I know. Don't tell me. I told you so. There. Peel it up like this. Make sure I don't. Oh. God damn it. Son of a bitch. You do it. I should just let you do it. I have extra if we lose that T because I accidentally cut off the bottom of uh, the F on my old decal. So we have two. If you need it. I'm just gonna let Nick do it because I'm messing it up with only one arm top doesn't doesn't want to stick use the tweezers maybe i don't know i'm just gonna let you do it i might put you in high speed though that's fine I'm hold the exactly. squeegee on it and pull it off oh yeah that's crooked it's okay you can realize we'll it, it in post it. it's fine <laughs> i'll fix it in post <laughs> Because it's hollow vinyl, it wants to stick to the transfer paper. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I have control issues, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm aware. <laughs> you're doing fine. It's not that you're doing anything wrong. I just have control issues, so it's hard to watch you do it. And I'm just going to turn around. Probably better for both of us. <laughs> You just watch the camera. I'm watching Make the camera. Make sure it's not out of frame. You're not out of frame. Don't worry about me. They're gonna think that all I do is hover over you our entire life. It looks so good though. I'm so excited. I'm not the one drunk right now because it's only noon on a Saturday. It's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> you did it! You did it! Oh, it's not over. <laughs> it's not over till the. No, I still have a piece here. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah. I'll be patient. I'll be patient. But this is how tedious a decal can really be, you guys. I may not speed it up because I want you guys to see like. I'm just slow though. <laughs> I'm, I mean, well. he's never put a decal down, so there is that as well. And we're very grateful for his help because otherwise we wouldn't have YouTube content for a long time. <laughs> but you're doing great, baby. Thanks for helping me. Yeah. Yay! Now, now we have to fix the tea. Fix the drunk one. <sighs> that looks so good, though. Look at how it looks with the glitter on the underside. Let's see if I can get that angle. It looks so pretty, you guys. You did it! Now turn it towards the camera. Hold on. It's not stuck, it's just sitting there. It's okay, we're gonna seal it with spray sealer. I'll seal it now. 
I would apply a little bit of heat normally to holographic vinyl to make sure that it stays down, but you actually want to replace that teeth. Okay. Here. This is a good thing that we have to. You can just pop that little guy right out. Okay. He's going to lay that one back down because I messed it up. laid smaller parts on smaller spaces before. It's what I do. I know. Who would have thought it would take 10 minutes to put a decal down, but it's fine. It looks so good now. Turn All right guys, so I had finished this cup um, in the previous video like you guys saw, but this one got some ripples because I had um, forgot to matte clear spray the, the part where the silicone was. And so the epoxy had fallen, like it repelled off of those large spaces. So what I did was I matte clear sprayed it, even though I knew it was gonna be ripply and put another coat of epoxy on. Now you can see, I sanded it a little so you guys can see like where I'm talking about with it being bumpy. It's easier to see the bumps when I've sanded it because you can see the clean spots. So I'm gonna put you in high speed. I'm going to sand it up and then I'm gonna show, I'm gonna put one more coat of epoxy on and then this cup will be done.